Hi Unifly and welcome back to story time. This time we'll be visiting Daisy the Little Dancer. This is by Mary Birkinshaw. Daisy loved to dance. More than anything else she wanted to be a famous ballet dancer. Every night she dreamed of performing in front of a real audience. But today was Daisy's first lesson at her new dancing school. As she walked through the huge hall, she felt a little worried. Oh, I hope Mrs. Pringle's watching me. Hello Daisy, said Mrs. Pringle, the dancing teacher. Daisy thought Mrs. Pringle looked beautiful elegant and tall and graceful. Then Daisy met the other dancers in the class. They had all been to the school before. Daisy was the only new one there and she was by far the smallest in the hall. Now Daisy began to feel very worried. I look even taller in the mirror. I become the smallest. Daisy looked round at the other dancers, warming up, ready for the lesson to begin. She could see Selena and Sophie admire themselves in the mirror. They were so tall and slender. Then there was a small group of dancers exercising at the bar. Suddenly, three boys came rushing across the room and nearly knocked Daisy over. They were the noisy trio and Mrs. Pringle called them Nigel, Dan and Andrew. Whoops, sorry, Nigel said to Daisy. You're so small we didn't see you. Listen now everyone, called Mrs. Pringle. This summer, I would like the class to perform the Silver Swan and you will all take part. Everyone cheered. They had all heard of the Silver Swan. The costumes were great. The music was brilliant with lots of drums, trumpets and twinkling chimes. Daisy wasn't sure what it was, but she felt excited all the same. Hooray, everyone cheered. This morning, said Mrs. Pringle, I should choose who will play which part. We will start with the trees. Listen to the music for the wind in the trees and watch carefully. Mrs. Pringle waved her arms and danced on the spot. She looked like a beautiful swain in the breeze, a beautiful tree swaying in the breeze. Now it's your turn, said Mrs. Pringle. The dancers waved around the arms and danced on the spot. Swish, 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 swish. Mrs. Pringle chose Selena and Sophie to be the trees but she didn't choose Daisy. Isn't Mrs. Pringle lovely, they said. Next, said Mrs. Pringle. I want you to dance like fire, she said. Listen to the music for the flames and watch carefully. Mrs. Pringle danced towards Selena and Sophie. Her arms leapt out like fiery flames around the slender trees. Now it's your turn, said Mrs. Pringle. The dancers leapt around the hall like raging fire. Flicker, flicker, crackle, crackle. Very good, said Mrs. Pringle. And she chose the noisy trio to be the flames. But she didn't choose Daisy. Now, called Mrs. Pringle, tapping her stick for attention. I want you to pretend to be woodland creatures. 
running away from the flames. Listen to the music carefully and pretend like you're running creatures from the fiery, from the fiery forest. Watch carefully. Mrs. Pringle ran away from the noisy trio like a frightened animal. <laughs> swoosh, swoosh, scamper, scamper. Now it's your turn, she said. Everyone danced their best. Swoosh, swoosh, scamper, scamper. Mrs. Pringle chose the rest of the dancers to be woodland creatures. But she didn't choose Daisy. Daisy was the only dancer without a part. She wanted to cry. Now, said Mrs. Pringle, I would usually choose an older dancer for the star role. But this year, I have decided to do something different. The silver swan will fly across the stage ropes. For this, we need the smallest and the slightest dancer in the school. Everyone looked at Daisy. I know this is your very first lesson, Daisy, Mrs. Pringle said, but I wonder if you would like to be the silver swan. Daisy was thrilled. Me? She gasped. Oh, Mrs. Pringle, I'd love to, she said. So the ropes were tied around Daisy's waist and she swept across the stage. Daisy's class practiced really hard that summer. At the end of term, they put on the special performance of the Silver Swan and everyone came to see it. The curtain rose and the musicians began to play. Swish, 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 swish. The tree swayed in the breeze, but the wind grew stronger and stronger. Suddenly there was a loud crack as lightning struck and the tree's flames leapt around them. Flicker and flicker and flicker and crackle. Those flames are noisy, aren't they? I'm so proud, my mother said. The woodland creatures started to flee. Swoosh, swoosh, scamper, scamper through the forest. They were terrified and didn't know where to go. Just then the animals looked up. There above them, swooping softly and silently, was the silver swan. She would show them to safety. And Daisy, the little dancer, glided gently before them and led the wooden creatures safely to the silver lagoon. Everyone clapped and cheered and shouted for more. The musicians and dancers had done so well that Mrs. Pringle wanted to cry for joy. Daisy was the proudest little dancer in the whole of the ballet school. Perhaps one day she would be famous after all. Thank you everyone. Hooray! Bravo! More, said the audience. The end. Thank you, Unifly. I hope you enjoyed the story of Daisy the Little Dancer. See you next time. Take care.